What's up, y'all? It's Emil Innes Jr. back here with Clever News, and the Pretty Little Liars are up to no good once again, as it was just announced that a reboot is in the works. All thanks to Riverdale creator Roberto Aguirre Sacasa, the fan favorite freeform show Pretty Little Liars is coming back after its final episode aired in 2017 with all new storylines, which means A will be making her much more vengeful return. The Hollywood Reporter announced the news on Wednesday, revealing that a reboot is officially in the works at Warner Brothers Television with the help of Roberto, who is also reportedly putting a whole new spin on the series, as well as all new characters. The outlet also reported that as of right now, a network for the new series hasn't been chosen, but it's looking like HBO Max is a top contender. The original series, based on the novel by Sarah Shepard, ran for seven seasons and starred four best friends played by Lucy Hale, Ashley Benson, Shay Mitchell, and Troy and Belisario, who dealt with lies and secrets following the death of their friend. The series went on to produce two spin-offs, Ravenswood and The Perfectionist, which starred Sasha Peterson and Janelle Parrish for one season. However, this new reboot will reportedly have no connection to either series. Very little details have been revealed about the new series, including whether or not PLL creator Marlene King will be involved in the making of the reboot after leaving her deal at Warner Brothers Television for 20th Television last year. The news comes after Lucy Hale revealed to Entertainment Tonight back in May that she felt that, quote, when the time comes that they want to do it with a whole new cast, I might have to produce it because I'm way too protective of it. It's still unclear whether or not Lucy actually will take on a production role, but having her input would likely only enhance the plot of the show. Earlier this year, the girls celebrated PLL's 10th anniversary of its 2010 premiere as they took to social media to reflect on their time on the show in emotional statements. Lucy claimed that the show changed her life, adding that she's eternally grateful and always proud of what we accomplished. Ashley Benson gushed about her PLL family, while Shay Mitchell explained that her life would be completely different had it not been for the show. She said, quote, nothing would be the way it is right now for me if this show hadn't premiered a decade ago. I spent my entire 20s in Rosewood and I will be forever grateful for the last 10 years. The girls celebrated the reunion with a virtual live stream as well as a Feeding America fundraiser. And the live stream was moderated by Damian Holbrook and included the entire cast, including Tyler Blackburn, Ian Harding, and Marlene King. They all collectively agreed that the finale was so emotional that it was hard to keep it together as Troy and recalled driving home after filming the final episode thinking, that's the last time I'm going to drive home. Many other set secrets were revealed, but fans continued to hold out hope for some sort of on-screen reunion when Lucy hinted at a PLL movie. She said, quote, I always get asked about when we're doing a movie. People always think we're doing a movie. I think we just need to do it. While the big news comes as an exciting new development to network execs, news of the PLL reboot has sparked major backlash and concern among the series' most loyal fans. Very few people were optimistic about the reboot, but this fan tweeted her excitement saying, ready for a whole new generation of PLL. Can't wait to meet the cast and see who will play the new Arya, Spencer, Emily, and Hannah. However, others who love the show are a little skeptical about a reboot, as many were already content with the way the series ended. This person said, PLL was still and probably will be eternally iconic, but it's for the best that it ended when it did. So Riverdale writers, take your hand off that golden show. And this fan tweeted, please don't destroy the storyline of PLL because us fans will not be happy. Marlene basically sold the show. I'm the biggest PLL fan ever and I'm definitely not happy. 2020 is not my year. Another fan brought up another valid argument saying, the whole excitement and hype over PLL was over who A is. So how is a reboot gonna ever live up to that when we already know the whole story now? This is so stupid. This user added, not to mention the success was due to the five talented lead actresses, they brought so much to their characters, without them it wouldn't have worked as well as it did. Other fans agree that if a reboot of any show were to be made, network execs need to give fans more than just a few years to actually miss said show. This fan wrote, PLL just ended three years ago. Usually reboots should be, in my opinion, at least 10 years or so after the original. Thankfully, a brand new storyline is said to be in store, so the stories of the beloved characters we know and love will likely not be harmed in the making of this reboot. But for more Riverdale news, click right over here for another Clever News video, and then let us know your thoughts on the PLL reboot, and if you think that some of the old cast members will make appearances down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Innes Jr., and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.